This is the Rolex Submariner, a timepiece synonymous with luxury and craftsmanship. The watch I have here starts at $7,000 and goes up to over $40,000 depending on the model, year, and materials. But what's good about it? What is bad about it? And is it worth the hefty price tag? The Rolex Submariner has a long history of being a reliable and versatile tool watch for divers, adventurers, and professionals. Introduced in 1953 as the first dive watch with a water resistance of 100 meters, the Submariner quickly gained acclaim for its innovative features. Over the years, Rolex has continued to refine and enhance the Submariner while maintaining its classic and timeless aesthetics. The updated Rolex Submariner in 2023 introduces modern features like a green Cerachrom bezel and a 70-hour power reserve, blending the iconic design with contemporary innovations. Rolex's dominance in the luxury watch industry is evident through the Submariner's recognition as one of the most iconic timepieces. It remains a symbol of exceptional finishing, a class-leading bracelet, and a timeless design. So what's good about it? The Submariner has a classic and timeless design that is instantly recognizable and admired by many. It has a simple and elegant dial, a unidirectional rotating bezel, and a sturdy oyster bracelet. The watch is available in different colors and materials, such as steel, gold, or two-tone, and with or without a date window. It also has a water resistance of 300 meters, a scratch-resistant sapphire crystal, and a robust case and bracelet. The watch features a self-winding movement certified by the COSG, Swiss Official Chronometer Testing Institute, for its accuracy and precision. The Submariner has a power reserve of about 48 hours and a hacking seconds function that allows for precise time setting. If there's one thing that has remained a visual staple for steel Rolex sport watches, it's the Oyster Bracelet. The modern Rolex Oyster Bracelet is considered one of the best in the game, with solid end links, screw adjustments, and the glide lock system, allowing for a massive two centimeters of micro adjustment. The watch is also housed in Rolex's patented Oyster case, known for its robustness and hermetic sealing. Changes to the Rolex Submariner's case and the use of ceramic are points of contention, but necessary to remain up to date in the modern watchmaking landscape. One of the things I love about this watch is that the Submariner has a strong wrist presence without being overly bulky, making it a comfortable and stylish daily wear. The Submariner is a highly functional and durable watch that can withstand harsh environments and conditions. The modern Submariner models come with a Cerachrome ceramic bezel insert, known for its scratch resistance and durability. The modern Submariner dial combines a touch of modern flair with elements that pay homage to its diving roots, making it a great example of a luxury sports watch. But what's bad about it? While the Submariner has undergone subtle updates over the years, including changes to the crown guard shape, lugs, and the addition of a Cerachrom bezel, to cater to modern watchmaking trends and appeal to a growing segment of buyers who want a more noticeable luxury watch, I find the Submariner kind of boring or less appealing, especially the latest updated Submariner. Don't mistake me, I like the watch as a whole, but just have a little dislike for the design, especially the bezel colors. Also, the design of the Submariner has remained relatively unchanged over the years, but I will definitely pick it over the Omega Seamaster or the Tudor Black Bay. After all, it's a Rolex watch. Is it still worth it? Even though they are expensive, the Submariner is one of those rare luxury items that holds its value and even appreciates over time. What makes it stand out even more compared to the brand's other models is, without doubt, the complex and tedious process of acquiring it and nonetheless, the worldwide limited availability. It is a sought after and collectible watch that has a strong demand and a limited supply, but some may find it less appealing due to brand fatigue and hype, and it has undergone changes under Rolex's luxury approach. I would rate it a solid nine out of 10 because the Submariner is more than a watch. It's a legend. It is a masterpiece of design and engineering, but also a victim of its own success and popularity. I feel like the Rolex Submariner is a watch that is worth the money if you can afford it, and lucky enough to get it. Rolex is known for its exceptional craftsmanship, and the Submariner is no exception. The watch is built to last and is often passed down through generations. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, 
Give it a like and also share your thoughts on this iconic timepiece and suggest other reviews you'd like to see in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more in-depth reviews.